What is truly new in Waldorf education? Well, for one thing, it has moved west. Most of the new schools, most of the vital ideas in Waldorf education are coming primarily from the west coast. For another big change in Waldorf education in the 21st century is that it is going public. More and more Waldorf Methods charter schools have begun to sprout up, particularly in Northern California. Can this work? Can a system like Waldorf education, which works with the developmental aspect of the child, which gives teachers remarkable freedom in the classroom, which moves slowly in the early years and leaps forward in the upper grades. You know, I was, I didn't even have children yet, and a friend was, had her children, and she was sharing her experience at Davis Waldorf School. And she just said, you know, the children are so nurtured there for who they are. You know, they don't realize that they're in school, they're having such a good time. And, you know, and I just, you know, kind of just tucked that way in the back. So the wild wind blew. Could you come forward just a little bit? so I can come behind you. Give me the part of speech they each are. The? Out loud, everyone. Article. Good. Adjective. Wild. Wind. Noun. And verb. Good job, thank you. Have a seat. It's, I guess the thing that I enjoy so much is just seeing how their curriculum and experiences are all pulled together and, and it just makes it such a fun learning environment. What do we do next? What do we do, Maura? We make the numbers. But how do we do that? You're right, but there, we have to do it very carefully. Go ahead, Maura. We do the 12 and the 6, and then I think we do the 3 and then the 9. First of all, you get how many beans? 12. 12 beans. Then, as Maura said, you start where? You start at the top and the bottom. Then? Side and side. Now, that'll put, that's four beans right there. If you had 12 beans and you put four down, how many should you have left to put out? How many, Quentin? Eight. Eight more. Well, today we so. did what I call a baseball activity. And it's just a way to structure a review activity where every student in the class gets to ask another student. John Brown. And every student in the class has an opportunity to be challenged in that way. So he, him and his sons went to the South's weapon place and they were gonna steal him and give him to the slaves, but he was stopped and hung. So, yeah. Well, what do you think of that answer? Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> he took over that place. He didn't, didn't just he didn't. steal I, I the weapons. I never said he didn't take over. He took over yeah, for he was a few hours, so he left that part out. Well, Carly is an authority on this subject. You're familiar with these drinks, right? Yes. yes. All right, and they're the same. They're the same volume. Now, it turns out they're slightly different mass. All right, I have a special talent, and I am going to challenge that I can weigh, tell the difference between the two blindfolded. Do you promise you didn't put any markings on them? So you okay, can so I want you to observe them. Take, inspect them. Don't shake them. Don't drop them. But you may inspect them. Uh, like a mark any markings. Kind of like All right, so I actually have to close my eyes because if you open it, this stuff just goes right in your eyes. Oh. I'm having a hard time telling which one is different. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so, uh, I would dare to say that there's an education revolution that's happening here, and it's not really a revolution until it enters the public mainstream, and we are doing that very quickly with great success and a lot of credibility.